Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make unfold body uh, for pipe with difficult shape. So let's create a pipe uh, with difficult shape. I will uh, go to part workbench here in FreeCAD and uh, in part workbench let's create a cylinder. It will be the first cylinder and let's set this is the parameters of this cylinder. Um, we will set a radius let's uh, use 50 millimeters and let's set height of the cylinder i will set 300 millimeters after that we have to make angle we have to reduce it um, to very very small value and 9 okay and uh, using this angle we will get the some very small gap it uh, will need it for creation of uh, unfold operation if you will merge this uh, pipe in one uh, shape you will get a sum false when you use um, the unfold operation for this pipe so after that let's create one else cylinder and um, maybe we can to just copy these parameters to second cylinder i will set reduce some smaller value uh, with two millimeters of thickness for pipe and I will set the equal height 30 and I will use the full angle here and after that I will create a pipe using the cut operation I will choose the main uh, pipe shape and second body cylinder uh, hold down control button on keyboard and left mouse let's make a cut operation and you will get the sum uh, pipe with very small gap and um, after that let's uh, create the some difficult shape for our pipe let's cut uh, on some angle using the cylinder let's create one else cylinder and let's set uh, some big um, radius here let's set for example equals height here and let's uh, make a rotation for this cylinder using the sum axis for example it can be y axis let's choose y axis for rotation let's set one in y and zero to z and let's make the rotation maybe 50 degrees after that let's may change the position in uh, x direction for our cylinder let's set some negative value for this and now when we perform a cutting operation between this pipe and this cylinder we will get here some inter intersection between these two surfaces and you will get very difficult shape of the pipe here let's choose the main uh, pipe and choose the cylinder and let's make a cut, cut operation after that you will get the some difficult shape here and you will get here the gap and after that when we have the um, pipe let's uh, make the some unfold uh, for this uh, shape Af for this um, uh, we have go to mm, mesh design workbench here and but but before it uh, the unfold body we have go to draft workbench 
because we have to create a surface uh, for this um, shape of a pipe. Let's choose this uh, surface. Let's go to a menu bar and let's choose this tool. It's called Face Binder. Let's choose it, press it, and we will get this face from our uh, body. If you will hide the cat using space button on keyboard, you will get here this um, surface. And after that, let's uh, hide this uh, grid for draft workbench. I will show you how you can to hide it you have to choose this toggle grid operation here and the grid is hided so after that let's go to mesh design workbench and here we have to choose our face surface and create a shape from this face create mesh from shape let's choose this operation here and um, we can to use the surface deviation and we can set the some accuracy of approximation of these um, edges and the surface using the mesh uh, parameter. Let's set 10. Let's set 10 here and press OK. You will get here a mesh. Um, format of face and if you will for example go to view and we can try to activate wireframe let's hide the face binder and we will see here the shape in mesh format of our face let's go to shaded view and uh, now uh, we can use this uh, shape for unfold unfold um, let's choose this face and let's go to meshes in menu and make unwrap mesh operation when you will do it you will get here this um, shape of your unfold um, pipe. Let's hide the face binder and let's continue to work in this, this shape. So after that let's go to part workbench and we can to use this shape like a closed wires uh, for creation of uh, for generation a solid body let's use this shape and let's choose here extrude and let's set here two millimeters it was uh, a thickness of our pipe press ok and how can you see uh, we have got unfold uh, shape here of our mm, of, of our body of our pipe of course if you will increase the resolution of uh, mesh shape you will get the some more edges here so it will increase this accuracy of approximation here also you can create um, based on this shape the some sketcher and create a bispline uh, which make approximation um, for these um, points also edges but uh, for this task we will um, finish uh, with unfold with this um, approximation of for these uh, very small surfaces so uh, let's so uh, let's show us continue original pipe and uh, how can you see we have got this 
unfold body for this pipe. So it's a finish of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.